I think I started saying some stuff yesterday about um, recognising that I was so angry at men in my life and um, some of that was triggered when I met AJ as well and I um, realised that that's related to some first century memories that um, I still find hard to talk about publicly so um, that's a good trigger for me today. Um, so when I first met AJ, the first emotion that I connected to was anger. Um, and I think he was relating yesterday about four days into our trip together, I, I hit this huge grief, rage emotion that seemed to come out of nowhere. And when I wrote about it in my journal, it was a very strange experience because all of these feelings were coming up in me that I didn't understand. But the predominant theme was that he had left me and abandoned me and I was very, very angry about that. Um, and I felt that I couldn't trust him again because that would be what would happen again. And that's been an emotion that has been pretty... I've been working through for about a year now. Um, it's a big one. And as I get further down into it, um, something that I've been working through, say, in the, in the last couple of months, is the feeling that AJ can't understand the pain that I've gone through. Um, and he still doesn't understand the pain that I've gone through. Uh, and I sort of had this realisation yesterday that that was actually almost a cap. That's a huge emotion in me, so it's hard to feel that it's a cap, but it actually is a cap for... It's um, an avoidance of feeling just the deep grief and pain that I did feel at that time that I still feel connected to. Um, and I think the reason we sort of thought it would be good to talk about today is that I do... Um, see that in other women, there's this real anger that men don't understand us um, and it may not come out as a rate, it's more of an attitude that I feel is quite an angry attitude that a lot of women have, um, but it is actually an avoidance of the deeper grief that we have about how we feel men have treated us. So it's like sometimes these emotions, like Mary just pointed out, the emotion of men, I'm not understood by you. So let's say you're in a partner, you're, you're in a relationship with your partner and you're a woman and you feel like the man doesn't understand you. And so then there's this temptation to project a lot of anger at him every time he doesn't understand you. So rather than doing that, see that as just a cap over an emotion of I'm not understood by men. And underneath that is the core emotion that men just like, oh, that, that that I've got to feel, and that is, nobody can understand me, is the core emotion underneath that. And no one can understand me because I'm a woman. I feel hurt, yeah, because of men's actions, that kind of thing. Yeah. So allow yourself to dig deeper into it rather than just projecting that surface layer uh, towards your partner. Because if you think about it, us women, a lot of us have that belief. We don't even think that's anger, we just, that's a belief. Men don't, just don't understand us women, but I'm telling you that's anger. <laughs> so if you have that belief, you're angry at men. So but it's actually not true either. Yeah. This so, man understands. <laughs> <laughs> so so the, this really, like, you know, the men are from Mars, women from Venus type thinking is uh, like, while well, it's gained a lot of popularity uh, because of the misunderstanding between the sexes. The truth is, the way God designed us is that we're one soul together. So how can we, in the end, ever misunderstand the other? So once we actually break down, so once I break down all the barriers inside of me towards feeling like feeling misunderstood and also misunderstanding, and once Mary breaks down the same barriers, then of course we'll completely understand each other. In fact, so completely that Mary's emotion, as she's feeling it, will pass through me. And my emotion, as I'm feeling it, will pass through Mary. We won't even have to open our mouth to say what the emotion is. The other person will be automatically feeling it. Yeah. Uh, if you think about it even energetically, this belief that men don't understand me is a very much uh, pushing away sort of a thing. Whereas if I'm in my grief of feeling misunderstood, it's much more allowing and you create a different energy between the two of you. Yeah. So, so if I'm focused on 
allowing all of my emotion to be present within me and feeling all of my emotion, and Mary is focusing on the same thing with herself, then obviously now emotion can actually go between us and it actually creates more understanding. Like she will then understand me because she can feel my emotion. I'll be able to understand her because I can feel her emotion. Does that make sense? The, uh, all misunderstanding between the sexes is all because we've got blockages to letting ourselves feel their emotion or we've got blockages to feeling our own emotion or we've got blockages to allowing them feel our emotion. Right? And all of the misunderstandings that occur are because these blockages are in the way for Mary to feel my stuff and me to feel Mary's stuff. When I feel Mary's stuff and my own and Mary feels her own stuff and, and my stuff, we have complete understanding in the relationship. Com complete knowing, without opening your mouth, what emotion we're going through at every particular instance. And that's what it will mean in the end to be closely unioned as soul halves into a soul, into a complete soul. Another thing, like under my anger, I realised I had a lot of fear. I think you mentioned it earlier about. Um, feeling that I'll be vulnerable and then I'll lose this man um, and that will be that will hurt worse than if I don't open my heart and I do think a lot of women have that feeling as well um, and I have realised that it's actually it's cutting off your nose to spot your face or something because um, I'm keeping him at a distance all of the time because I'm very afraid of losing the the potential love, love and connection. But in the end, he's at a distance anyway and we kind of make each other miserable from the distance. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Where, so I'm sort of preventing a potential experience of pure joy and happiness um, for fear of losing it. So can you see a lot of times we're worried about future events and the fear of a future event creates the anger in the presence. Yeah. Like we're afraid in the future that I'll lose it and if I lose it in the future, then what's the point of opening out now? Uh, I might as well give up now rather than losing that in the future. So imagine what it feels like for you to be in a beautiful, loving relationship and then your partner die. So there are going to be some emotions about that, isn't there? If we're not yet in an abundant condition, that'll be, there'll be some emotions there, right? And so, so the key for me is to, again, just allow all of these feelings pass through me. Mary does the same thing rather than focusing on what may happen in the future. The irony is, is once I release these emotions anyway, what will happen in the future will be a lot better than what will happen if I hold on to these emotions right now. Because while I'm still in grief, I can't actually love properly anyway. And, and while you're in anger, you can't love properly either. And while you're in fear, you can't love properly either. Mm. 